gunmen open fires on the Champs Elysees Avenue. The footage during the attack, which left one police officer dead and two others wounded, was captured by a businessman on a trip to the city. Suddenly we hear a sound just like a fire, fire shooting. We don't know whether it's fighter fire or no, because it was very quick. After the 10 seconds or 20 seconds, the fire came back again. We, we recognize that there's a fire shooting behind us directly. The people start screaming, shouting, running around the, the place. The gunman has been identified as a French national with a heavy police record, but who was not on France's terror watch list. He was shot dead by police at the scene. More than 100 police officers gathered to remember their colleague, 39-year-old Xavier Jujuli, at a late-night vigil attended by members of the public. Surgeons who stormed a military base in Afghanistan killed and wounded more than a hundred soldiers, the Ministry of Defence has said. One Afghan officer claimed the death toll could be as high as 150. The attackers were disguised in Afghan army uniforms and driving military vehicles. They talked their way past checkpoints, saying they were carrying wounded soldiers. The attack, for which the Taliban claimed responsibility, was launched near a mosque on the base in Mazari Sharif, just as soldiers were leaving Friday prayers. A number of German and other foreign soldiers are based there as part of a NATO-led mission to train Afghan forces, but none were said to have been hurt in the attack. Sarin gas was released during an attack in Syria earlier this month, the chief United Nations investigator has said. But Paolo Sergio Pinheiro said most of the victims in the attack were killed with conventional and not chemical weapons following an airstrike on a hospital. The Syrian government denies US accusations of a chemical attack in Idlib province which killed dozens of people. Meanwhile, in Syria, the evacuation of civilians and fighters from four besieged towns has been completed. A war monitor said thousands of civilians and pro-government fighters arrived in army-held Aleppo. In exchange, busloads of rebels and their relatives were transported to a rebel-held territory. A U.S. federal judge has sentenced Volkswagen to three years probation and independent monitoring over the diesel emission scandal. The ruling, confirming a settlement announced in January, also approved a $2.8 billion criminal fine. Volkswagen pleaded guilty in March to fraud, obstructing justice and falsifying documents after admitting to installing secret software in more than half a million U.S. vehicles, enabling them to cheat in emissions tests. A lawyer for the carmaker said VW deeply regretted its behavior. Plain and simple, it was wrong, he said. The U.S. Justice Department has charged seven current and former executives over the scandal, which cost VW CEO his job and ravaged the German carmaker's reputation worldwide. One executive is in custody awaiting trial. Another has pleaded guilty. The U.S. Attorney General has warned America's so-called sanctuary cities protecting immigrants from potential deportation that enough is enough. It came as Jeff Sessions and Homeland Security Secretary Michael Kelly toured the U.S. border with Mexico near San Diego. Nine jurisdictions have been told to cooperate or risk losing grants. The Department of Justice is absolutely committed to race neutral and fair application of the law in every circumstance, but we have lawful systems of uh, immigration and shouldn't that be enforced? Is that racist to say so? Is it wrong to say that if somebody enters our country unlawfully and they get caught next week in Los Angeles that that's out somehow an abusive thing to apprehend them and deport them? Some of the sanctuary cities which refuse to cooperate with federal agents over suspects whose legal status is in question have said they won't give in to threats. Both senior members of Trump's team expressed their commitment to securing the border. One has said plans to build a wall along the frontier could move forward by the end of the summer.